congratulations, a bonus point win at Twickenham. Just tell us what you thought of that performance. It was a, a bit of a roller coaster. Well, I was never a doubt, was it? You know, at, um, at 15 all, I don't know, it was about 60 minutes or something, something like that. You know, the, the game's in the balance there, and, uh, you know, big, big crowd, big atmosphere, big expectation when you've got 15 against 14. I thought the boys hung really tough, you know, in some in some really tough situations, and uh, they dug deep for one another and came out with, you know, what we know is unbelievably hard to do, coming here and getting a, getting a bonus point. And I'm rolling on to, on to next week, still in the hunt is, uh, is what we came for, and uh, we managed to do that. So, having said that, we take a lot of lessons, you know. Sometimes, sometimes you know, you... Uh, you go chasing a little game and you've nothing to lose when you've got 14 men. Um, so there's lessons to learn from that. Uh, but unbelievably pleased, unbelievably proud of the bunch. We roll on to next week. And you got that great start. You had the extra man, as you say. Uh, but then you did inflict a lot of wounds on yourselves, didn't you? Just talk about some of the difficulties today in terms of the scrum, particularly. Yeah, listen, all credit to England. I, I thought they did really well in the circumstances. I thought that the kicking game and the way that they uh, they put pressure on us in the backfield there uh, and the way that they climbed into every breakdown and of course the set piece was outstanding so they, they spoiled our game didn't they and uh, and stayed in the hunt themselves but we managed to find a way and that's all that matters yeah and those fresh legs at the end were key key we've got a good bench and we've said that all along and uh, they, they came on and added which is which is perfect and a chance to finish on a high against Scotland next weekend well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, we fly back home early tonight to make sure that we have a proper day off tomorrow and we bounce it to work on Sunday night, um, making sure that we're, we're, we're still in the hunt to, to win a championship, you know? We, either way, we're still, we're still on, the, on the run to win a triple crown and that's where we want to be. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Jack, congratulations. Uh, you came off the bench and, and made an impact with that much-needed try. Uh, yeah, like the lads put in savage work for 60 minutes and. Very England, it's always tough when you're down to 14 and tired body is like you're doing that extra bit of work. So um, I think we stayed on it for 80 minutes, 80 minute performance, this is what we spoke about before the game, and it really paid dividends and obviously it's great to get across the whitewash and to get on and even contribute in any way. Um, I thought the lads put in a massive effort in the first 60, so uh, look, it wasn't perfect and there's lots of things to change next week and Destiny is in our own hand uh, to a certain degree. We finish as many amounts of points as we can. Um, we put ourselves in the best possible position ever we've considered since Paris. Because despite England being down that man, they really did dominate at times, particularly as we saw at the scrum. Absolutely. They definitely had the upper hand um, at stages, and it's because they're obviously a quality outfit. Um, we probably fed into a little bit with our own indiscipline. Silly mistakes ahead of the kicker, uh, line out things in the side, things like that, things that we can control that you know Paulie and, and Faz and uh, Fogs will be disappointed in and, and so with ourselves. So it's um, it's always a learning experience and there's always areas to get better. Yeah, I suppose it would be disappointment that there was a lack of composure, I suppose, and control at key times when you needed it. Absolutely. I think when a team goes down to 14, it's very difficult not to change your kind of mental approach to the game and because you see holes uh, a bit more everywhere else uh, the, you're more inclined to be a bit wider and not stay tight and not play tight shapes and that fit feeds into them because then they can get off the line they can hit you they can put you back and you're kind of chasing shadows a little bit so things like that happen you have to go back to the original plan stick to the system tighten up play to the holes the space will come because they're working so hard so um, it's a good lesson for us well, on a positive note you're leaving Twickenham with a bonus point yeah it doesn't always happen you know we spoke about the history that the country's had here in the last few years and uh, how difficult it is to come here and get a win. And, uh, you know, we look back at 2018 and, and, and other years and that we've won and, and lost and took inspiration for that. So, um, look, it's fantastic. These days don't come around often. We'll, we'll enjoy it, but uh, it's back to drawing board for, for next week in Scotland at home. Plenty to play for against the Scots. Absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be huge last week and everyone's uh, incredibly excited and hopefully we all come through injury free and, you know, we're in a good uh, position for next week. Congratulations, a win at Twickenham, it's a rare thing, and a bonus point in the end. Yeah, we're delighted with the win, you know. It wasn't easy, probably wasn't our best performance. England made it difficult for us. Um, our set piece wasn't uh, firing, but like we're absolutely delighted. Like We know how hard it is to come here to win, um, to get the points, and ultimately that's all that matters. So, um, yeah, we'll take it and delighted.
Well, talk to us about that performance and those difficulties, because you were a man up and a try up very, very early on in this game, but then you seem to make life very difficult with yourselves. The scrum, as you mentioned, penalties, errors. Yeah, definitely. They were sort of playing pressure rugby. Um, we weren't probably accurate enough. Um, our intent was there, and we were trying to play to the space. But um, it was just a little one or two percent off, maybe. The fact they had 14 man, we probably or man, we probably didn't respect it probably enough, especially at the start. But I think we learned our lessons and finished off real well, and that was a huge, huge takeaway. Yeah. I suppose you had to rely on the replacements really to close out those final minutes. Yeah, exactly. The bench had had, a, had such a big impact. You know, I think we were saying there's four lions on the bench, and um, yeah, you could really feel that they came in and um, really added a special element to it and ultimately helped us see out the game. So, yeah, they uh, made, made the difference. And you're back home next weekend. You've got Scotland. You've got a, a triple crown at least to play for. Exactly. That's what we've been talking about the last week or two, you know. Chance to lift a bit of silverware at home in the Viva in front of our home supporters. And that was the ultimate goal of today, to get in that position where we can uh, get the triple crown. And you never know what might happen with the Six Nations. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks, Kugel. Cheers. Thank you.